Uh, Sir William, can we expect this visit to be controversial? And indeed, should it be? Uh, well, it will be controversial. There'll be lots of people who want to reflect on the uh, the murder of uh, Khashoggi and on on human rights situation in in Saudi Arabia. But the British government in inviting the Crown Prince is uh, taking a pragmatic view about the importance of Saudi Arabia to the UK as a whole, uh, our security interests, our trade interests, uh, uh, our energy interests, uh, our wider interests are, are at stake here. So that's the reason they've invited him. And would you say the Ukraine war has shifted the power balance between Saudi Arabia and the West in MBS's favour? Well, I think yeah, the the Ukraine war and the energy crisis uh, has certainly uh, made energy suppliers more important and uh, non-Russian suppliers more important. Um, Saudi Arabia has always been important in the sense it's a G20 country, it's the leading oil producer, uh, it's the biggest country in the GCC. The Britain is trying to uh, conclude a trade agreement with the GCC. It's worth about sixty billion dollars, sixty billion pounds worth of trade. Uh, and a trade agreement with the GCC wouldn't be possible without Saudi Arabia's agreement. So it's uh, it's an important country. And will we likely see uh, Mohammed bin Salman uh, on the terraces at Newcastle United, or is that not likely to be his style? Uh, well, I, I think he's a bit of a football fan. You can see the amount of money that Saudi Arabia is uh, is spending to promote the Saudi Pro League, uh, but I doubt. Uh, I suspect he won't. Uh, the logistics of turning up at Newcastle might be just a bit too much. <laughs> and we, as you say, this is, you know, real politique, as, as some people would call it. You know, this is a, a very hard-headed assessment of what the UK's strategic interests are from the from the government. You think? Yes, I think so. And I, my understanding is that this uh, this visit would be part of a wider European tour, and it would look a bit odd if. Uh, if he went to France and Germany and uh, other countries, I don't know what, what's on the tour, but uh, if he did not come to Britain. And, and just finally, would you expect in this sort of meeting, you'll have been in many of them as the uh, UK ambassador, would you expect uh, British ministers to raise human rights abuses and, and that sort of thing with uh, with the Crown Prince? Yeah, that was, it's always on the agenda. It's a balance of interest. You know, they can't meet and not talk about uh, things. Uh, I mean, he, he Crown Prince will have a, a, a relatively good story to tell in terms of what's uh, the reform of uh, uh, the position of women in the kingdom, uh, able to drive, work, uh, education, the restrictions that used to apply uh, on women uh, are no longer there. That was always a big topic of discussion whenever British ministers engaged with um, uh, with Saudi Arabia. So he'll have a good story to tell on that, but it'll certainly be on the agenda. Where, where does dismembering journalists fit into that story? Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a black stain on Saudi Arabia, which uh, I don't think they'll ever be able to wash off. 